Hi folks, my name is Alex Medell and I wanted to share a little bit about my instructor today. So my instructor's name is Simone Kuo. We refer to her as Simu Kuo and she wrote this book, Long Life and Good Health through Tai Chi Chuan. She wrote this book in, in the 1980s and it was eventually published in 1991 while she was applying to work for San Francisco State University. Her and her husband opened up the school Lian Ying Tai Chi Chuan Academy in San Francisco's Chinatown District in 1963. She moved here in 1964, achieved her chin to toe and her instructorship in 1965, and has been teaching Tai Chi Chuan ever since. She started in a PBS program in 1975 where she broadcasted Tai Chi Chuan uh, all over the nation. She was one of the first Asian uh, Asian American ladies to teach Tai Chi Chuan throughout the United States. And so this program was widely popular and, and really cemented her role in the Tai Chi community in the United States. So when I found Simu Kuo, um, I was just another student at San Francisco State University. Um, I'd been practicing martial arts ever since I was seven years old, growing up uh, practicing uh, Taekwondo and uh, learning a little bit of Capoeira, Karate, uh, a little mix of here and there. And so when I found her style of Tai Chi, something really clicked. And, and, uh, and as my body performed the movements of her 64 step Tai Chi Chuan, I realized that there's something deeper in this form. And, and as I grew to love Simu Kuo and her exuberant energy and her honesty, and her strong will, I realized that um, this instructor has actually been part of my life for a little bit longer than I thought. Um, one of her students invited me to her studio to train. And, and as he was recanting it, he, not, he told me it was the yellow building that was in the center of Portsmouth Square, uh, one, of the main, um, one of the main parklets in San Francisco's Chinatown. And, and I remember thinking, I was seven years old, or maybe I was a little bit older, eight years old, nine years old. My, my parents would come up to San Francisco's Chinatown often. And um, I remember looking at this yellow building. Up, in the, up at the top there, it said, Martial Arts, Lian Ying, Tai Chi Chuan Academy. And I always thought, whoa, as a kid, how do I get up and train up on the third story of the roof over there? That's a pretty cool martial arts school. And, and, and so when I got to college and my colleague told me, hey, I'm going to go to uh, Simo Kuo's studio today. Would you like to come? It's the yellow building in uh, Portsmouth Square. And I was like, no way. And so my whole, my whole life sort of came full circle. And, and there was something that I was dreaming about when I was a little child. And, and now I have an opportunity to be part of the studio and to be part of the impact of the Lian Ying Tai Chi Chuan Academy and, and to help spread the power and the truth of the 64 step form. And, uh, and so now my goal is to spread and preserve Simu Kuo's 64-step form. Just as it's taught in Long Life and Good Health through Tai Chi Chuan, I want to teach it exactly the same way that she did. And I'm accepting of all forms of Tai Chi Chuan, and I think that at some point, all Tai Chi Chuan can recognize that we are all from our distinct families, and we can take pride in representing all of our instructors. So with that said, I welcome you to try a class or come meet me out in the park and I'll see you there.